everybody, my name is Jonathan and welcome to Barely Unbox. Today we're back with another Magic Mixies video. It's uh, Wednesday, so it's midweek Magic Mixies. And this is part one of a three-part video. So today we're going to be looking at these amazing new Magic Mixies minis. I finally found these in my area. Uh, at Fred Meyer. So if you live in the Pacific Northwest and you're looking for these, Fred Meyer has these. Um, for now, they only have these like four packs where you get three of them that you can see. And as you can see, these are both uh, different packs. And then you get one in a tiny little cauldron to reveal. Uh, these are part of the Shimmerverse series. There are 90 to collect across the Shimmerverse series. And here is the barcode. And these are made by Moose Toys, one of my favorite toy companies. And it has a little blurb on the back about Welcome to Shimmerverse. So if you want to pause and read that, you can. There's also a special edition rainbow mini mixie and it i think it lights up i know there's oh wait it talks about that one up here so there's hera and it is a limited edition one and for the time being i have no idea how to read the codes on these because they're new and i don't think at least that i've seen i don't think anyone's figured that out yet but I do have this full case of Magic Mixies Mixlings. These are the Magicus Party. And I've had these for a while. I've been wanting to open them, I just haven't had the time to do a video. So what I'm doing is we're going to open the top layer of these today and then next Wednesday we'll open this middle layer and then the Wednesday after that we'll open the bottom layer so we will open a full case within three weeks so I figured that was far more manageable for me to do especially right now uh, with how everything has been for me <laughs> and so we're gonna open these and six of these so I think we'll do these first and so I'm just going to take this top layer out and we will put this to the side and I do have water because these are water toys and I usually like to show at least one how to do it with water and we have our hat and our wand, so we are ready to cast some spells. Um, let's start right here. So the codes on these, I will show you as I open them. So the way you read these codes is it's the fourth digit and the third from the last digit that you look at. So this is a three, two. So three, two, those two numbers will always have the same mixling in it. And I will put a link in, down in the description for a website that teaches you how to read these codes. They may even have some new information about the mini mixlings, which these are actually, they don't say mixling anymore. It just says Magic Mixies Minis. So I guess they're just called minis. Um, these, I think, replaced these, at least for right now. So, this is the Magicus party. And here is the barcode. These you can still find. I actually uh, see these at Walgreens sometimes. I see them at random stores like Ross. Um, Actually, today I was at a Marshalls, which is also like a TJ Maxx, and they had the double cauldron where you get two of them. So, all right, so these have a pull tab. 
sometimes the pull tab is in a different spot depending on when they were manufactured. Ooh, that actually worked. That's, that was nice. All right. So here is what the cauldron looks like out of the wrapper. It's really cool. I love the way they look. And you take this off and it has the place to add the water and ingredients. And it says, do not remove. Now I will show you after this one, like I do in pretty much all my mixling videos, um, how to open these without doing the water, which, cause this can get really messy, especially if you have multiple ones. It's just, you're gonna have a lot of cleanup. So inside the lid, you get this potion. You get this little water receptacle and you'll notice that has a two and this has a one. All right. And then you get a little read me first pamphlet for the collector's cauldron, which is what these are called. Now the collector's cauldrons, you have a chance to find a limited edition. And I don't know if I have one. I don't think I do, but I looked it through all the codes and it doesn't look like I have one, but we will see. So here's all the steps. It's very easy. All right, so take one and you know what? Scissors work really well for this. All right, and you might want to put a paper towel down, which I do have some paper towels, so we'll do that here in a second. So this stuff is very cool. It's like red, or I should say pink, blue, and yellow, like dust. So that's what it looks like. And you want to kind of shake that around and distribute it. And you bring in the water. And you do this twice. So step two, you do twice. I am going to bring in some paper towels before I do this. Just to cover my workspace here. All right. Are we ready? And you have to say the magic words, Magicus Mixus. Um, does it say that on here? It does. All right. Right there, Magicus Mixus. I always use my handy dandy one to cast that. All right, and then the top of this kind of disintegrates and you have a little mixy inside. And then you can dump that out, rinse it out, clean it, which I'm gonna need to do. Um, these are gonna need to be wiped off before we can even open it. And it's a little slimy and that's just part of the whole thing. Uh, kids will probably love this. I've bought some of these for my friend's kids and they absolutely love them. And they always like to do the water reveal part. So, all right, so we're gonna look at this first. So this is their accessory, which is like a little gift with wings. And you also get a collector's guide right here. And it shows you all the different ones you can get. There's not that many in this series. They're only on the one side, but there is the limited edition one, Xander, only available in these collector cauldrons. So I know these are just some of my favorite toys. I just love these little figurines so much. I love, I've always loved cute little animal fantasy figurines. Uh, I, when I was a kid, I used to carry around toys like this with me everywhere I went. So here is who we got. 
It's like a little monkey. The detail on these is amazing. There's so much molded detail and then they have these like printers that print really, really well. Like these really cool screenings on them now. All right, so this one, this one is a enchanted birthday party and we got Temin right here. So Temin, you do this and they have a little party hat that pops out. So that's really cute. And then you can push it back in and redo it over and over again. <laughs> so there, there it is with its little hat. It's very cute. And you'll definitely want to wash your hands after you do these because it leaves like a weird powdery kind of substance on your hands. Just a heads up. All right, so that's our first one. And the lids go back on, so you can store them inside here once you rinse that out, which, which is really handy. I'm going to actually just put that to the side. All right, and I have my own checklist. All right, so here's my checklist. So I can mark these off because hopefully, um, well, I have that one already, unfortunately. So this one I will put up on my eBay for sale. So, all right. All right, keep the list handy as we go through these. All right, I'm just kind of randomly going to pick these. So here's the next one. Now this one's code is right here so it's a zero four so if you want whichever one is in here look for zero four so this is how I've found you can open these without the water instead of taking the lid off you can pop the whole rim off and reveal the toy Ooh, I think this one is a glow in the dark one. I love glow in the dark. All right. So the glow in the dark ones come with a lantern that glows in the dark. And I will show all of these at the end of the video uh, in detail, in photos, and a picture of all the glow in the dark ones glowing because that is honestly one of my favorite toy gimmicks. So this one is adorable. It looks like it's sleeping. It has a little crystal rose on its butt. It's very cute. And it's yellow, so that should glow in the dark really well. So this one is part of the Fantastical Glow Party, and we need that one. That is uh, Vazzy. And that one is a rare. So there's different rarities to each one. There's all those. So let me mark that one off. I'm very excited to get ones that I don't have in this case. And then these lids, they have a notch in the front right here you can see that three line notch and that lines up like that so you can put it back on so very easy to open those without water all right next one and since we're not casting spells we don't need to say magic is mixes but we can if we want to i didn't say it for that last one but i will this time Maybe that'll give us some extra luck. So here is the code on this one. It's zero five. Usually all the ones that start with a certain number, like zero, are gonna all be glow in the dark. Like there's a sequence to them. So Magicus Mixes. 
Yep, this one looks like it's a glow the dark one too. So it has the same lantern, so I'm just not even gonna bother opening that at the moment. Um, I wish they made different color lanterns that just glowed in the dark, you know, different colors. This one is amazing. It's like a little multi-tailed fox, like a kitsune. And the paint on the collar goes all the way around, which is nice. Very cute. It has like sprinkles on its eyelid. <laughs> all right, so this one, let's see. It's another fantastical glow party. This is a common, that's what the moon means, and it's Jinda. So very, very happy to get another one. I only need two more glow in the dark ones. Awesome, okay. All right, let's put this lid back on. I'm trying to keep these in order so I can write the codes down later and keep track of which ones that I got. Um, so next one. And here is the code for that. It is one five. All right. Magicus mixes. Oh, this one looks interesting. What is this? Okay. So this is a different one that we haven't seen yet today. So I will need to open the accessory. This one is part of the Mystical Masquerade Party. And it comes with a mask with a little sponge on the one side. And when you put the mask on their face with um, water of a certain temperature, what is it? Um, so sunlight also works, I guess, but warmth. So warm water. I don't know if my water is warm enough anymore. It doesn't feel very warm, but we will try it. Here is what we got. It's very cute. It's like a little duck jackalope kind of looking thing with a bow on its butt. And it has like iridescence to its face. It's very cute. And then you put this mask on like that. And then when you take it off, it's supposed to reveal a mask underneath, but I'm gonna need some hot water. All right, so I'm back. I got some hot water just from the tap. Um, it doesn't have to be really hot. In fact, you know, this is a kid's toy, so you definitely don't want it to burn your kid or yourself. All right. And you just put that on and you kind of smush it for the sponge to release some of the water. All right. And then you take that off. Oh, and I see nothing. What is going on with this? I'm going to dip it in the warm water. Okay, so for some reason, that is not working with the warm water. Even though it says right here, sun or warm water reveals its mask. Well, we'll have to try again. Apparently the water is not cold enough, or not hot enough. So we got Kuda, which is also a common. I hate it when toys don't work right. <laughs> All right, so we'll just move move along. It's okay. Okay, this one we'll put back on here. Okay, so only two more, and then we can get into these new 
minis, which I'm very excited about. I really want to see the checklist because I can't believe there's 90 of them to get. It's a little crazy. So here is the code for this one. It would be 17. All right, Magicus Mixes. Oh, this one is a different one as well. This one is, I keep knocking down that monkey. Poor little monkey. <laughs> All right, so this one is part of the magical dress up party. And it comes with a crown, like a birthday crown. These are all like basically birthday themed. So here's the crown and, and it has a magnet in it, just like the, um, this also has a magnet in it. And then here is our mixie. And you can hear it has little stuff in it. So it has these little hearts. And so if you go like that, they I think they have magnets in them or something. And then when you put the crown on, all the little sparkly or confetti looking things come out. It's very cute. I love this one. I love it. It's so adorable. And the colors on that are really beautiful. So this one is Luggle, which is a character from previous series. And these are all uncommon, with that diamond means next to them. All right, so we got Luggle. Let me just double check, make sure. Yep, that is level. Because there's two of each one uh, of each design that you can get in the series, like different colors. All right. All right, last one. Very excited. So we got one of each type so far, which is great. This one is a one zero. Magicus mixes. All right, this one I think is a character that we've seen before. Oh, it's mask, because this is a masquerade one, is already showing. So I will show you that right away. That's what it should look like on the other one. This one is adorable. It has little wings. Its tail actually moves from side to side. All right, and since we already have a mask, I'm gonna leave the mask in here. So we don't need that. And it's already showing its mask, so. Which is awesome. <laughs> so this one, is I believe Dawn and I already have that one too apparently so unfortunately that is not a new one so this one will also go up on my eBay uh, in a few days it'll it'll take me a bit to get that up all right so I'm kind of curious if the warm water works on this one okay so warm water just removed the mask completely so i think that's marked wrong i'm thinking it needs to be cold like ice cold water which makes more sense you don't want to use hot water with children i don't know it just seems weird that that it would have said hot water anyway <laughs> I don't know, it, I'm very confused by the instructions not working right. Okay, so now it's time for these. So again, I will show you this barcode. So let's 
get this open. So here they are. Just set that there. I want to look at the guide. I'm very excited to look at this guide. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's the Shimmerverse has a lot of different things. So looks like five different groups. So we have Magic Power Sun. So those change in the sunlight. Magic Power Ice, so cold water change. Uh, Magic Power Starlight, so these all glow in the dark. Awesome. Oh my god, there's so many. Um, and then we have Magic Power Moonstone, which also glow in the dark. Interesting. And then we have Magic Power Rainbow, which is uh, sunlight or warm water, it looks like. So, wow, two different ones that glow in the dark. That makes me super, super excited. Oh, and it shows the limited edition one down here, which apparently is part of the Moonstone ones. So, very cool. Wow. There are so many to collect. They weren't kidding. Each set of them has 18 different ones to collect, including uh, that limited edition one. So very cool. And these come in different rarities. So they have different rarity symbol. There's uh, special edition ones that have a rainbow. And I noticed all of the rainbow ones have the special edition. So I'm thinking maybe you can find them in a pack together. I'm not exactly sure about that. Okay. So let's take a look. These are absolutely tiny and adorable. And I'm glad I have the bigger ones so we can compare them. So here is this one. It's so adorable. It looks like ice. Um, and then we have this one. And this one looks like one of the sun change ones. So let me look at my guide and see. Okay, so this one is Trunda right here. So this one's gonna glow in the dark. Um, and then I think this blue one might be a Magic Power Ice one, let's see. Yes, this one is a Feather. So that's a cold color change one. I don't think my water has cooled off enough to be considered cold. Um, and then this last one is, looks like Giora. So. That one is a sun uh, change one, and we have no sunlight. But I'm wondering if a black light works. Does not seem to. It's probably not going to work. Now, a black light will make things glow in the dark, though. So we'll have to see if this works. Okay, so this one is glow in the dark. I can tell by looking under my desk where it's dark. So we'll look at that in photos at the end. I'm so excited. But yeah, you can see the size difference. These are super, super tiny and adorable. I love them. Love, love, love these. These are going to be really easy to lose. <laughs> All right, and then we have this cauldron, which has a moon on the front. It's very cute, and it has a flip top. 
So these do not have any type of water reveal to them. And then you pull that out. It's wrapped in paper. Oh, and here's the one we got. It has like confetti inside of it. Very cute. That one might be a rainbow one. Let's see. Okay, so this one glows in the dark. So I believe it's one of these starlight ones. I think the starlight ones are translucent. And we got, I think it's this little griffin that we got. Kind of looks like it. There's so many different ones, it's so hard to tell. Actually, I don't know if that's Griffin. Oh no, we got, this one is sort of yellowish. It's hard to tell, but we got Gertie. So that one is a rare, very nice. These little cauldrons are really cute. I like that it just pops open. I should really mark off the ones that I got. All right, so now we have this one to open. It has three different ones. This one in the middle though, and this one I think are duplicates of a couple we already have, just different colors. All right, so here they are. Okay, this one is really cute. It kind of looks like a caterpillar. And it has a snowflake on it, so I think it's one of the ice ones. Yes. We got this one up here named No. All right, let's mark that off now. So this one is another uh, ice cold color change, so I'll put it next to that one. We'll have to try that out before I'm done with the video. And then this one, it's like a little owl. And actually I thought it was the same mold as this one, but they're different, so. This one has a moon on it, so I'm guessing it's a moonstone. Yeah, so this one is right here. We got Cuico, very cute. I absolutely love these. So this one's gonna glow as well. Doesn't seem to glow as well as the other one. So probably because of the color of it. And then we also have this little one, which has a sun. And I believe these are the same mold, just different character. So that one is also going to be a sun uh, color change. So I don't see this one on here anywhere. Unless it's supposed to be Geckler. There's this one right here, but he looks more blue. Is that supposed to be Geckler? Because there's the other one we got. I think this is supposed to be Geckler. All right, so the only one I think it can be is Geckler, who's also a character that's previously been seen and now they're just really tiny. So that's kind of interesting that they're, you know, doing the same characters, just really tiny. All right, and then here is our last one. Oh, and this one again is translucent. It has confetti inside of it. And this one is really cute. So, that one's also going to glow in the dark, and that one is 
The colors on these are very different. So I think this one is a Vanla, even though it's not as pink. So I think that's what's throwing me off is sometimes the colors aren't matching. All right, so I am super excited how many glow in the dark ones are in this series. There's there's 36 glow in the dark ones in this new series, which is crazy. Now these cauldrons do have um, codes on the bottom. I just noticed that. But I don't remember which one was in which cauldron now. And I don't know if we read them the same way. It looks like there's the same digits. So this one would be like, um, what would that be? Six. Why is it so hard to read? Six, eight. And then this one would be seven, seven, zero. I don't know. I'm not sure uh, who is in which cauldron though. But it looks like the only ones, at least so far, that are in the little cauldrons are the starlight ones. And the starlight ones uh, have rarity all over the place, just like the other ones. That one was rare that I just found. So it could be that maybe the rare ones are inside the cauldron. And I'm guessing that limited edition one is also going to be inside one of these. And if it follows the formula from previous series, it will only have seven instead of nine digits on the bottom. That's just an educated guess. So, all right. So that was a lot of fun opening those new minis. You'll have to let me know as I mark these off. I don't want to miss any. All right, so I got them all marked off. And you'll have to let me know which one was your favorite. Um, I know the names are probably like hard to remember. So just tell me, like, was it the monkey? <laughs> or maybe one of the glow in the dark ones. Um, but yeah, these are so cute. I love them so much. They're so tiny. So they're, they're going to be easier to collect because you can display more of them if you want to. Um, but yeah, 90 is so many to collect. So, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and opening up some new toys with me. I love uh, opening new toys together. Like these are just so cute. I just can't get over it. So... <laughs> If you're not a subscriber, please do consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. And every time I put up a video, you'll get notified. And like the video if you liked it and share it if you think someone would like to see all these magic mixies. And also, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care out there. Love you guys. Bye.